and welcome to this VMAX video tutorial. In this episode, we are going to configure our SQL, our MySQL server to um, accommodate OpenSIM. We're going to be transferring from uh, SQLite over to MySQL, and hopefully that'll give us a performance boost. Okay, if you uh, have not installed MySQL, uh, make sure you check out the previous video and to go ahead and have that installed. Uh, in this case, uh, we have it installed. Uh, on this particular machine, I'm using something called MariaDB, uh, but it's all the same. It's going to work exactly the same, uh, all the commands, so uh, you'll be using MySQL. Okay, so on the command line, what you're going to want to do is you're going to type, well, I'll show you a command. You can do show databases. Now, this is a databases that I happen to have installed on this particular machine. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new one for this uh, new VMAX project. You see, I have a couple of uh, VMAX databases already installed, uh, so I'm just going to create another one. So, create database, and uh, let's just call this. Um, I'm just calling. I'm going to call it uh, VMAX underscore OS for OpenSIM. Okay. So we just got to remember that VMAX underscore OS is the name of our database. All right, so we've created it. Next thing to do, we have to use it. So use vmax underscore os. Okay, database change. So we're now, all the commands that we enter now are going to affect that particular database, which is good. Now we're going to create a user. You remember when you installed MySQL, you uh, created a password for the root account. That root account controls the whole database. What we're going to do is we're just going to create a special account only for this particular instance of uh, OpenSIM. So we will create user and now you're going to do a single quote and uh, we're going to create the name for that user. I'm going to call it open... well let's call it vmax os underscore user. Okay. And then another single quote to, to close that, and we do the at symbol. Another single quote, and localhost. Another single quote. And now here's how we enter the password for this particular account. Um, we include in this line identified by another single quote, and this is where you enter your password. Okay, I'm just going to create a simple one here, so I remember. I'm going to call. I'm going to call this just Vmax. Make sure you use a better password than this. All right, so Vmax is the password. The user is Vmax OS user at localhost, and the password's Vmax. Oh, and uh, end it with semicolon. All right, so we've created that user. So now what we want to do is we're going to give that user permission to access. Uh, this particular database. And uh, later on, we're going to tell OpenSIM about this user so that it's able to log into your database and uh, and change things based on that user. So right now, we're going to do grant all on. Um, now we're going to do the uh, vmax, vmax underscore os underscore. Um, actually, it's just vmax underscore os. That's what we had. So we grant all on that dot star so that basically uh, everything that happens to go underneath the vmax underscore os uh, database uh, this user is going to be granted permission to it so we're going to grant it to and now we go ahead and retype that username vmax underscore os underscore user at semicolon. Okay, I'll just check this line to make sure I got it. Grant all on vmax underscore os dot star to vmax underscore os user at localhost. And this ought to work. Okay, it says zero row is effective, but actually means it works, so um, everything's great there. Um, and that's basically all we have to do for right now. So we just go quit, and we, uh, we're done with uh, messing around inside of uh, SQL, uh, MySQL. The next thing we have to do now, if we try to launch OpenSIM, it's, it doesn't even know you've installed MySQL. So we have to tell it that we're not going to be using SQLite anymore. Instead, we're going to be using 
MySQL. And the way we do that is editing one of those configuration files. Okay, so this is our OpenSim, if you recall our, our OpenSim folder. And uh, we do things in the bin folder. Uh, in the uh, Previously, we've uh, opened up the OpenSim.ini in order to change a configuration, but this particular configuration is in a different file. You'll find it under uh, config include. So go into that folder. And the file that we are looking for is standalone common.ini. So I'll just bring up my little text editor. And we're going to edit that. And it's going to look very similar to the OpenSim.ini that you've already edited before. Uh, and uh, you're, what you're looking for is database service. Let's just see, change, yeah. And uh, you'll notice at the top, it, it says SQLite. Now, the way these uh, configuration files work is anything uh, that starts with a semicolon is basically a comment. In other words, it doesn't affect anything. It's there for informational purposes. Uh, and when you want to disable things, you can just stick a semicolon in front of it. And uh, if you want to enable something, you remove the semicolon. And, and uh, you'll notice in this particular editor, it tells you that. Uh, it sort of communicates that because everything in that sort of dim green color is uh, commented out. So it has no effect. But you see the one thing here that isn't commented out is include storage. And that's uh, under SQLite. And that's because we're using uh, SQLite. So what you want to do is comment that out. And what we do want is MySQL. Okay, and it even gives you a little instruction. Uncomment these lines if you want to use MySQL storage. So you want to uncomment those two lines. Uh, this one you don't have to mess around with, the storage provider. Just uncommenting that line is enough and, and you're done with that. But we do have to edit the con connection string because uh, we need to tell uh, OpenSim w where to find your database. Uh, it says data source localhost, and that's correct, so you don't have to change anything there. But we do have to change the database. And uh, what we had was vmax underscore os. And if you recall, we also had a user, and uh, we called that user vmax, vmax underscore os underscore user. Okay? So now it knows uh, where to find your database. It knows which database you're using and the user it's logging in as. And the last thing you need to do is make sure it gets the right password. And uh, if I recall, I had the terrible password of vmax. Uh, Okay, and so that's basically it. Uh, save this file. And now, if all goes well, and it may not, we'll give this a try. If not, I'll pause it and fix it and then come back. Uh, we have uh, got to find our opensim.exe. There it is, opensim.exe. We're going to run it. Okay, this is looking promising. Uh, you notice it's doing a bunch of updating uh, to the region store. That's because something isn't quite right with the OpenSim. Uh, we had it pointing to SQLite earlier, now, and, and everything's fine. It was fine, but now we're pointing to an entirely different database. In fact, the database is completely empty. Uh, we're not even messing with the SQLite thing. So it's uh, it's doing some internal updates. Um, and, uh, and then we'll log in, and what you'll find when you log in is that uh, you're back to the island. You're back to that uh, uh, seascape that just has that one little tiny island. And that's because our brand new uh, MySQL uh, database for this OpenSim uh, doesn't have anything in it. So uh, we're going to re-execute the, um, the load OAR command. Uh, I'm not going to bother logging in because I, I told you what would happen. You, if you log in, you're just going to find it empty again uh, compared to our previous videos. So as soon as this works, I'm going... I'm going to go back. I'm going to get this ready now so that, uh, let me see. That's our VMAX 106 OAR. In a previous video, I showed you how to uh, load up an OAR file, and we're going to do that again. Okay, so now, no existing estates found. You must create a new one. Okay, so we remember uh, this is because we've we've just completely changed the back-end database. It doesn't have the information that we had for our simple install, so we just got to we got to do this again. So I'm going to call this... Okay, our test owner again, Brian, Brian, admin, uh, 
Okay, all this is looking familiar. And there's our region name. Logins enabled. Okay, so now we're going to execute once again the load OAR, and we're going to we're going to load OAR from where you have it saved on your machine. In my case, it's going to be under c colon backslash scratch sl temp and vmax 106oar Okay, and now we are loading that OAR, and with any luck, uh, this process is going to go a little bit faster. Uh, I'm going to pause the video for now. Okay, and I've unpaused, and uh, I didn't even really have to pause. Almost as soon as I uh, pause the video, uh, successfully loaded archive. So there you go. Uh, that, that's the difference of performance. When we uh, were running SQLite, attempting to load this OAR took literally half an hour. Uh, in this particular case, uh, it looks to me like um, it took maybe 20 seconds, uh, so somewhere thereabouts. So uh, that's how fast it is. So if you go ahead and fire up your Firestorm, if all goes well we're going to see our VMAX. You'll see the VMAX uh, last, the, the image of VMAX uh, in Firestorm because it shows you where you were la when you last logged in. So we're going to see that no matter what. At this point I'm crossing my fingers. Everything works well. Initializing world, that's a good sign. So we are able to log in. You get that error message again, but uh, you can just ignore it. And uh, there you go. We are in. This is uh, VMAX. Uh, I'm uh, moving around, and uh, we are on the faster MySQL database. So we are slowly but surely getting there. Now, there's a couple of things we're going to have to change. Uh, I'm going to, uh, in the next video, show you how to adjust uh, some little things. Uh, first, we'll try and get rid of that uh, uh, lost hippo's um, uh, name for, for this particular server. We're going to give it something a little bit more appropriate. And as you can see, my avatar uh, doesn't really look like uh, uh, the uh, avatars that we want to have for this uh, demonstration. So we're going to show you how to use that. And in future videos, we are going to show you uh, VMAX itself and how to move around and uh, operate and how to administer it. Um, otherwise, that's all for now.